Uh, the Filipino community, you have the Sudanese community, uh, an Armenian, or an Iranian uh, community. Hopefully in the future, maybe some of our developmental players for the Kings will be from those communities. Um, it'd be a great success story uh, that, that one of those kids turns out to be a high level of N NBL player. Uh, the one thing about the Filipinos is they love their basketball. Uh, they're quick, they can play the game. Yeah, there's definitely talent out there. The, the thing that different communities bring is just a little bit more flair. And I know watching the Filipino community and definitely watching the Asian community, they bring a different style of basketball and different type of basketball to Australia. Basketball is, you know, a very, very big sport in the Philippines. So, you know, we said let's do uh, this night, uh, let some people play on the court so they get a taste of what it's like to play at the entertainment center. Josh McDonald, he's a 21-year-old, towering, six foot five and a half, power forward, uh, and uh, he started off playing with the Sydney Kings in one of these basketball nights. And uh, he's uh, on his way to the Philippines in August to apply for the Philippine Basketball Association draft. Filipino community in Sydney, like all of us, love basketball. We've got a lot of comps on throughout Sydney, and it's just like a combination of every every area sort of coming together. Yeah, what the Sydney Kings are doing is great. It's sort of it's getting Sydney Kings involved with other communities and sort of bringing us all together. I know it's, we're all Australians, but it just brings, it, brings everyone in together. It's all because of that round ball, or that football, or that soccer, um, brings uh, multicultural people together uh, in sport, um, and it turns out to be a success story. I'm a prodigy or, or, or a result of that process. Uh, and uh, the game has been great, great to me. For myself, my uh, father was Lebanese, so I've got into the Lebanese community a fair bit. I've gone out to a fair bit of schools, and once the kids know that uh, that's your background, then uh, they love it because it looks like they can go to the next step as well. Sometimes in those communities, they don't feel like they can uh, make that next step, but when they've seen someone who's done it, they're definitely more appreciative and it's something that they can aspire to. Sport breaks down barriers very, very fast. The sport and music worldwide are two of the ingredients that you know, if you want to do something and you go to a sports game or you music, uh, it does break down cultures and, and breaks down barriers very fast. Dance, dance is a fantastic way of like breaking down those barriers. It's just it's a form of expression. If you're angry, you want to bring out those kind of emotions. If you're happy, you kind of joke around. If you want to enjoy yourself, like dance is another. It's another sport as well. If you look at it too. What we're trying to do with the crew at the moment is um to give the same opportunity um, to the kids that you know, we were in the same state, which was on the streets and that sort of stuff. And we're just trying to send out good message, good behavior, be humble. Someone came along and said, you know, we're looking for a player. Would you like to come to Australia? Uh, I said, yeah, where's Australia? And, you know, I, I came out here for two years. Um, it's now almost 36 years that I've been here. You know, I mean, Australia has been fantastic for me and hopefully I've contributed a little bit to Australia as well.